at the Haiko Airport right now and I'm leaving Haiko for five days. I'm gonna check out uh, Central China, check if there's anywhere good to uh, do a refugee camp for overseas Chinese people in Canada, USA, and other Western countries, Indonesia and Malaysia, if it really comes to that in the near future or medium term future. Over here in central China, there is enough unoccupied land with overgrown grass and tumbleweed that could accommodate a overseas Chinese uh, refugee camp that could also accommodate and house uh, Western folks who don't agree with the extermination of Chinese people in Western countries and also in Malaysia and Indonesia. Uh, over here in this drone video, it's farmland and it's already occupied by the locals and they have their own livelihood and houses. But on the uh, drive from the airport and also back to the airport, there's enough of the vacant land with just swamps and overgrown grass to house uh, all these refugees or overseas Chinese people and protectors of overseas Chinese people. In the beginning, I think it will be only for overseas Chinese people who are in immediate, da immediate, immediate danger. But also a lot of uh, people in Western countries, whether you're white, black, or whatever, they won't agree with the extermination of overseas Chinese people. And there's going to be a civil war in the Western world. And if they lose or about to lose, these protectors and advocates of overseas Chinese people should also be welcomed in these uh, refugee towns in China. Uh, this place in central China or anywhere in central China, it won't be just one spot for uh, refugees. There's going to be more than one refugee town, city, or camp that's going to be, re be required because there will be just too many people. And there will be also a lot of different like weather or climate uh, requirements for people. If you're like from Malaysia or Indonesia, you probably better off in Hainan, uh, south, uh, west, yeah, southwest part of Hainan, it's mostly vacant, a lot of empty land that's not being used for farmland or anything, and there's also, like, I think it was the Leijo Peninsula, that's what it's called, but anyways, there's a peninsula part in Guangdong that's just right across from Hainan, across from Haiko, so that peninsula part of Guangdong and also southwestern Hainan Island can be used for overseas Chinese people who are more used to a humid and hot climate but I think central China is best for people like who are from the USA or Canada and possibly Europe because it's similar climate without the snow and all the rain and fog but the temperatures around the same it's not hot like in Guangdong Hainan or Hong Kong and, but of course, if you like the snow and terrible weather, there's also northern China for you, Heilongjiang. I gotta visit that place and do a review on that too in the future. But I think central China is the best candidate for having a refugee settlement because it's, uh, because of the weather and it's mostly it's less expensive and less populated than 
Shenzhen, Shanghai, Beijing, Guangzhou. There's no way you can have a refugee settlement near Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, Chongqing, and whatever, because there's too many locals already. But over here in central China, it's a spread out. It's a spread out place and uh, on the outskirts of. Wuhan, which is over here,、uh, here in central China too, and also like Jingzhou. There's a lot of these like outskirt neighborhoods and suburb suburbs where、uh, the buildings are like for、uh, only like forty to sixty percent occupied. So basically, half the places are、uh, unoccupied. A lot of places are probably sold, but there I'm sure there are a lot of places that are unsold, and they could be sold for cheap. Like at cost plus a little bit of profit for people who can buy into these and live there, or they could be、uh, paid for by the government、uh, and rented out for people who can't afford to buy, or they can just be rented out f-、uh, for free for like one or two years until people get their lives together. And all that, there will be like different、uh, different levels of、uh, accommodation based on people's budget. Uh, yeah. So if for overseas Chinese people, it won't be easy to reintegrate, but、uh, it's possible. So these people could live in like these vacant towns,、uh, be neighbors of the locals, and if you're like totally lost, and if or if, or if you're white. Uh, if you're like white, black, or an overseas Chinese person who doesn't have a lot of Chinese culture, I think there should be like these special zones for people until who where the government could try and help them、uh, set le- teach them Chinese, teach them about Chinese culture, and try and integrate them into society gradually. It won't be an easy task, but. The good news is that China, China does have the vacant land available, and also vacant condos that are unsold. Some of them are unsold, and some of them are sold. It's for investment, and yeah. So China, it's possible to have a refugee settlement, multiple、uh, refugee settlements in China, but it just won't be all in central China. It'll be spread out around the country with these special、uh, zones and. Different levels of zones, where depending on what type of integration people need.